Hey guys, I hope you're ready for four days of extreme cleaning. I'm going to be focusing on detailing my car. I'm going to be sharing all of the best car cleaning products and tools that you need to get your car sparkling clean. I'll be cleaning all over my house. Put me on your TV, phone, or tablet, and let's do this together. Hey guys, welcome to Jamie's Journey. I hope you're ready. We're going to be doing so much. So this is on day one, just cleaning up the kitchen. I'm going to have the girls help me and we're going to get this house cleaned up. And on day two, you're going to see me completely tackle my car. I have not deep cleaned, detailed our car since before we moved. I think it was last fall because and Northwest Ohio, it gets really, really cold in the winters, so I kind of just let my car go. And then I don't even know what happened. I just didn't do it in the spring, so it was time. So I'm gonna be tackling the car. I'll be sharing all of the car cleaning products and tools that I use that are great. I've been using these for a couple of years now, and they are just the best cleaning tools that can get your car really clean. So I hope you're ready. We're gonna get things done today. Then it's quiet. I love it when I find decorative surprises by my kids. It always makes me laugh and I'll probably leave it there because it adds a little bit of character. We do love baseball in this house. So um, anyways, I was having the girls help me and I tried something out new. So if you're a mom, especially a mom to young kids, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes, okay, my kids help me clean up, pick up every single day. But there are some days where I just want to do it myself. I don't want the help. I just want everyone out of my space, especially when you're picking stuff up because there's so many things that go to different rooms. But obviously I know it's important for the girls to help me. But sometimes when there's too many cooks in the kitchen, it gets too crazy. So I made a slight alteration this evening. So what I did was, because um, Mike was finishing up some work. So what I did was in the kitchen, I had Addison and Avery help me and Emery was sitting with Mike and then in the living room I had just Emery help me so just wanted to split up specifically the twins and that really seemed to work so they were helping me and then they were going to go upstairs get ready for bed and I was going to finish everything up before my big day of cleaning the car here in a couple of days.
So I just want to say that I appreciate you guys for being here. Um, last weekend we had a busy weekend. It was Father's Day weekend and Avery had a softball tournament and on, I had a video that went up on Monday instead of Sunday because of Father's Day weekend, which you guys obviously know this, um, but I was exhausted on Monday. I mean, the whole weekend was go, 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 and then with the added Father's Day, like Mike's dad was there at, you know, Avery's game. His parents come to every one of Avery's games. My parents were there. We celebrated our dads. We celebrated Mike when we got home. It was just a really, it was a really fun weekend, but a long weekend. And I woke up Monday morning and I was just exhausted. And I, you know, my video went up and I was reading through the comments and I cannot tell you how much better you all made my day. You know, I was tired and exhausted. And when I'm tired and exhausted, I get a little emotional and I'm like, I can get into a horrible mood and you really brighten my day. So I just want to tell you that I appreciate you. I don't know if you have anyone in your life telling you that on a daily basis, um, but if you don't, I appreciate you so much. So thank you guys for being here and just being so amazing. So my friend Amy Darley, um, I'm sure you guys watch all of her videos, love Amy, but she recently did a Q&A on her channel and I was like, okay, this will be a good idea. So after the long busy weekend, we just had, I think we had like four or five loads of laundry that we had washed because we were keeping up with washing the clothes, but we were not drying or folding them. So I was like, okay, let's ask some questions. So I asked some questions on the YouTube community tab and on Instagram to get some questions. And then Mike and I are going to answer those later in the video when I fold laundry. So I thought maybe you guys can just fold laundry with me. You can put it on, just listen to us talk because it, it'll go a little bit slower than normal. Folding laundry can get kind of boring, but I slowed it down so we could answer some questions. So that is going to be at the end of the video. And I actually got asked so many great questions. I think I'm going to do that again either next week or the week after. So stay tuned for that. So I had already cleaned my stainless steel appliances, but you can see here there were still some streaks. And um, it's so weird because there must be a special coating on a refrigerator because I can clean that regularly with the same stuff that I do, uh, cleaned the dishwasher here and the oven with, and there's no streaks. But these two appliances, which weirdly, not weirdly, um, they came with the house, I guess, the purchase of the house. We didn't pick the dishwasher or the oven out. They're both GE 
appliances and we did buy the refrigerator separately so I don't know if that's if it has something to do with the brand um, but it streaks horribly no matter what cleaner I use so I just pour some baby oil and buff out those streaks and it's the one way I can get all of those water streaks and marks gone So the girls love lemonade and water like those are their go-to drinks all day every day and we were going through so much lemonade I'm like you know what I need to do something so I started using the true lemon packets they're like zero sugar no artificial sweeteners or anything like that and it's cheaper than for me buying you know one of the going through all of the jugs of lemonade and then I got one of those dispensers off of Amazon which I'll have linked in the description I've been showing that here on my channel and so the girls can go in and get their own lemonade or water throughout the day you know it's summertime they're in and out and they're drinking more so it's just been something that's been great I've been making a lot of lemonade and I want to get another one for water That is not real money that's why i wanted to show you it says melissa and doug we don't just have money dollar bills just laying around the car but as you can see i mean i don't think the car is horrible we don't let our kids it's not a hard no but our kids don't really eat in the car so this is just just everyday dirt i guess you know from the winter from moving I mean, occasionally the kids, I mean, I think there's some popcorn kernels you can see in here. Of course, sometimes the kids have to eat in the car, but honestly, it doesn't happen unless we have to, or it's like a rare occasion where we're stuck somewhere. So I give the girls a snack, but all of our family lives locally. All of our family lives locally. So we never really travel, I don't, I don't know, outside of a half an hour. It is extremely rare for us to travel outside of a half an hour from our home. So because of that, there's really no need for the girls to eat because if they're hungry, we always eat before or wherever we're going to. Um, our girls are old enough. I mean, my girls are old enough to, like if they're starving, like they can wait a half an hour, you know, if that makes sense, like if we're going to dinner. So our the kids don't really eat in the car. Um, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but like I said, it had been, it's been probably nine months since I've cleaned this. So it was time. Thank you. 
all of these cool cleaning products and tools you're going to see me use here as I'm cleaning the car, I will have all linked below. The drill is ours. Uh, well, I mean, the drill attachments are ours too, but the drill is separate. You just buy the drill attachments um, from Amazon. They're $6.99 and you get three of them. And then I just attached it to Mike's drill. Best way to clean car mats. This is a Lily brush. It's a really nice brush, like if you have pets. Um, it used to come way more in handy when we had our sweet doggy Reese. Oh, that's a question I um, that we will answer in the Q&A about um, if we're gonna get another dog. But when we had Reese, we did have to use that a lot more. But it's just a nice little brush that it's like rubberized that can get fur or crumbs. And I just used it to kind of loosen some of the dirt on the carpet, the floor of the car, and then to get into the cracks and crevices where a lot of crumbs and dirt, stones and things like that had, would collect. It would kind of break all of that up so I could vacuum. And this vacuum, I'm using my Eufy hand vacuum, which I'll have linked below, and the big white one, that's my Tinco cordless vacuum. So it's a cordless vacuum that I use a separate attachment with. So that's not its own hand vacuum, if that makes sense. That's my cordless vacuum. There's something about cleaning the car that is kind of satisfying and relaxing, so I didn't want to talk too much. Um, but this is a car detailing brush. It's kind of like a painter's brush, a paintbrush. So you can just go, and I felt like I was painting my car, but it again gets into the vents and the cracks and crevices. It's just a really, really great tool to have on hand when you're detailing your car. Same thing with that. Um, slimy like the jelly stuff that also you can reuse that so I've I've only bought it one time and I reuse it and it attracts all the crumbs that get into the cracks and crevices of your car so I definitely love the end result of cleaning my car loved it but it was a pain in the booty to film so when I film me cleaning it always adds on at least a couple of hours so like if I were just going to clean and I wasn't going to film let's say something took me three hours to do with filming it easily adds on a couple of hours because you're stopping you're moving the camera you're trying to get different angles when I'm filming the car 
you're trying to get all of these different angles and it's a pain in the butt because you can't just set it there and go and then not only that but you're working against the sun and the lighting so i had to keep stopping and adjusting the settings this whole car cleaning video I was outside for five hours. Now that wasn't all at once. I started early in the morning Then I was in and out. The kids were outside playing. They were in and out. Mike was inside um, working, but he wasn't super busy, but he was inside. The girls were like kind of running back and forth. Um, it was kind of nice because they were happy to be outside, but it took me five hours on and off throughout the entire day to get done because of the sun. The sun would come out and I, I would have to adjust the settings. It was such a pain. Um... So yes, it took me so long, but luckily a clean car is so great. I'll say it was worth it. It was, it's worth it now. It was not worth it in the time. I even think the wind knocked over my camera one time. So when you look towards the end of this car cleaning portion, I look kind of exhausted and frustrated. I was just done with it at that point. Yeah, my camera fell over at one point. I thought it was broken. I almost started crying, but we're all good. It ended up being okay, but... Oh, cleaning the car is not easy when you're trying to film it. Let's talk high point and low point of the week. So the high point is something that I always thought about myself, but it's been confirmed after this past weekend. So I always felt like I was a better mom to older kids. And when I say older, I kind of did quotations um, as in not like babies. Um, I just think I, I always thought that I did better. Just my personality, my patience level, I'm better with older kids. And it has been confirmed because I'm just going to say that having an eight-year-old and four-year-olds, I think we're in the sweet spot and I'm loving it right now. So when I say older, like I don't, some people probably don't consider a four-year-old old. In my book, I do right now for this conversation. I love babies like I think six months to a year oh that is just like the best age they're cute um they smile a lot but I enjoy more of when I can like I remember walking in the door from work and I would have Avery and the twins and they would be crying and I'd be like you know you walk in the door and you feel like you have a million things you have to do because you're just walking in the door and sometimes I'd be like you know after you of course say hi kiss them hug them then you're just like I need just like two minutes because just let me go get changed um, let me get dinner started and you're just trying to get your night started and I just needed a breather for a second and when you have a six month old if they're crying you can't be like just give me a second you can't say that to my eight-year-old I can be like just give me five minutes let me get changed get dinner started and then we'll talk about you know whatever you need to and that has been confirmed um, I'll explain more of how that was confirmed but I just think I enjoy being around older kids than little like newborn and that whole stage
So really quickly, I'm using the Meguiar's Interior Detail Spray. This stuff is so great. You can literally use it on any interior of your car. So leather, I use it on the screen um, there in my car and it, sh it left the screen perfect. Like you'll see it right here. It's just a great, great, wonderful cleaner for inside your car. I will have it linked below. And then here I'm using the Sprayway Glass Cleaner and I'm using my Jaws window cleaning tool. So you get this on the Jaws website. I will have it linked below. There's also a 25% um, off coupon code that I you can use, but I use that and it was actually perfect. When I got in my car the next day, I didn't see any streaks. So it's a great window cleaning tool, especially when you're trying to get into, you know, like the deep corners of the windows. took me most of the afternoon. Pretty much, actually, to be honest with you, the whole afternoon. It always takes me so long to clean up the car, but when you see the end results, it is pretty worth it. Ugh, nothing better. Okay, so I love a clean car, clean and organized fridge, clean and organized pantry, and clean floors. Those are my favorite. That give me like the most satisfaction, um, but especially when you have a really dirty car, so. Oh, feels good. All right. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm sure your car needs to be clean. Here's a little reminder. Go clean it right now. Go do it. Get all the fun stuff that I use to clean my car. I'll make it easy on you. You can rewatch this and we will clean our cars together. Okay, so stay tuned for that Q&A by Mike and I, but okay, so I want to go into more detail. So, you know, I remember thinking back to when the twins were, you know, maybe newborn, even a year old. You know, we would have weekends when the kids were younger, you know, maybe they weren't doing anything and not, not in as many activities. Well, the twins obviously weren't, but Avery wasn't really involved in much then. And you have these weekends where you have nowhere to go, nowhere to be. So we get to be home all weekend, but it's just feedings every couple of hours. It's, you know, um, crying, it's changing diapers, it's trying to deal with the teething baby. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like that's what our weekend would consist of. I remember sometimes after those weekends, as much as I love the girls, I never felt like fully fulfilled. And maybe that's not the right word because I loved my life, but it just felt so like I'm just here changing diapers, you know, feeding people, trying to keep people alive this past weekend, you know, and I would question myself, like, is there something wrong with me? And this past weekend, Avery had a softball tournament. She had games Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The twins were, you know, there as well. Um, Mike is a head coach, so he's not there, you know, along with me. And I'm packing lunches. I'm packing snacks, activities, and all of that. And I didn't have a second to myself this weekend. It was go, go, go. I barely had time to even like stop and think. But you guys, it was the best weekend ever. Best weekend. And I realized that, okay, I think having older kids and being able to watch them work hard towards something. Like I watched Avery try her best, have fun, laugh. I watched her cry when she struck out because she cares. I don't want to see her cry, of course. But it just means she cares and she's passionate. And I just love her, love seeing her in her element. And to me, that fulfilled me as a mom. I have no idea if any of this makes sense to you guys, but I think I just realized right now with an eight-year-old and four-year-old, I just am loving life. I'm loving the ages 
and I just think I'm a better older mom than a younger kid mom and I think this is important to talk about because I think we're all going to have our own preferences and some of you guys maybe are in the thick of it with baby a baby and you're feeling that way I don't know I just feel like I enjoy motherhood more as my kids have gotten older and I've seen them turn into who they are and watch them grow into the people that they will eventually become mm -hmm. So as much as I loved watching Avery do something she loved and just be on the ball field all weekend long, the low point of the week was watching Avery get upset. And on one hand, I know it's good to watch her get upset because that means she cares and she's passionate. We're all, you know, emotional when we're not meeting the expectations of ourselves, but it is still really, really hard to see her upset when something doesn't go the way she wanted it, like a play or an at-bat. And it just, it, it hurts your mom heart to see your child upset. Um, but we just tried to have talks about maybe, you know, feeling upset and then using that towards working harder to get where she wants to be. But it's not easy to watch your kid be upset. So that was definitely my low point. So I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. So they brought everything up for the basement. So they're down there working on that. Um, there wasn't any big updates for this week, like nothing really earth shattering. So I'll save some of the bigger updates um, in the upcoming weeks in those videos because they essentially just drywalled the workout area and then the bathroom. So nothing too exciting yet. So they have everything up here while they're working, so just kind of a mess. And then, and Disclaimer, this is a Buckeye leaf. <laughs> so, girls are at summer camp, Avery's in her room reading, so I'm gonna clean our bedroom. Um, so I'm gonna take advantage of some more free time this week. I'm gonna clean our room, and then we're gonna fold all of the laundry, lots of laundry, and we're gonna answer some questions from you guys. Hey guys, it's Jamie and... Mike. <laughs> feels kind of weird having him sit here. I'm in my closet. That's where I film my voiceovers. And he's sitting here ready to answer some questions. It's kind of fun. Um, but we had a lot of questions. So I do plan on continuing this Q&A with him next week. So stay tuned for that. So we're going to answer some questions. I'm going to try to answer them. I'm kind of laughing because, Mike, you don't know this, but when I get into my voiceovers, I get a little long-winded. <laughs> You know, I'm not a big talker in real life, but I get on here with all of my YouTube friends and I just can't stop talking. So I'm going to try to be as concise as I can um, and answer a few questions with Mike. So, all right. N number one question that um, it wasn't the, the most like thumbs it up question. We'll get to that as the last question, but I get asked all of the time, are we getting another dog? So I'm going to hand this over to Mike. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, I mean, I think eventually we will. Um right now it's just moving and trying to grow grass and walking through mud constantly it's not an ideal time um to try and housebreak a dog or a puppy um but i mean addison's favorite animal is a dog she's asked numerous times when we're getting another dog so eventually i think she'll she'll break us down yeah i think we do um this might be an unpopular opinion you guys 
I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm really not a big animal lover. And I feel like that's horrible to say because it's just, this is not normal. I'm not a big animal lover. I grew up with a cat. I've had three cats in my life. I'm definitely more of a cat person than a dog person, but having our dog Reese, she really won me over. And I do have a special place in my heart for um, cats and dogs. And I do want another dog. We're just, I think coming off of four years of having twins, I think we're also just like, we need a breather from that round the clock care as well. Um, and you get that with the puppy. So once we have grass, we're more settled here. We get a fence. I think we'll definitely be looking for a dog. Another question was, and I'm, I'm not getting the wording down exactly, but it was if you could change your career, change your career or go into any other field, what would you go into? And when I thought about that right away, first off, you guys know I have a passion for education. I always wanted to be a teacher since I was in first grade. I would still love to be a teacher. It's still in my heart. But if right now you said, okay, you're going to school, what are you going to be? I would probably love to be like a dietitian. I'm really into healthy eating and fitness, like a dietitian, a registered dietitian and a personal trainer. I think both of those would be a lot of fun. And honestly, they're both, they have a com component of teaching and education to them. So if I could choose a different career, that is what I would go into. What about you, Mike? Um, I think for me, it'd probably be something sports related. Um, sports have always probably been one of the most important things in my life um so doing some type of career in the sports field um you know dream job would be you know a coach of of some type but um really just anything anything in sports sports management sports marketing anything like that would probably be my my change So the next question I thought was kind of fun, it said, what does Mike do or what does the other person do to show how much they care and that they love you? And I'm going to let Mike talk first because I know exactly what I'm going to say, but I don't want to give him any insight what I'm going to say before he says his answer. So Mike, how do I show you that I love and care for you? Thanks for putting me on the spot. Um, I probably would say keeping me in line. Um, you know, you're kind of the one that keeps the schedules of where we're going and what we're doing and more importantly where I'm going and what I'm doing. Um, I tend to be a little more kind of fly by the seat of my pants. Um, but I think it's because I know that Jamie's on the other side and keeping me in line and uh, making sure everything gets done, uh, not just for me, but you know, for the kids as well. Um, so I, that's, that's how I know that she really cares. For me, it would be that Mike always puts me and the the girls first. He always will make for sure our needs are met in whatever way that means um, before his. He just, he takes care of us. And this could be kind of controversial because I think some people may be like, well, why would you want him to take care of you? But I think for me, I know I have the ability to take care of myself. If something would happen to him, God forbid, I have no doubt. I can take care of myself in every way possible. Financially, I could take care of the girls. And because I have that confidence in my abilities, and I know I could do it, 
I do want to be taken care of. I love that he wants to take care of me and the girls and I feel like that's special and I love it. So he always takes care of me, he takes care of the girls in any way he can make our lives, my lives specifically, better and easier. He's always trying to make my life better and easier. Whether it's filling up gas. I never have to put gas in my car and I don't even ask him to put gas in my car. I don't have to ask him to run errands for me. Sometimes when I get really stressed he'll say, Jamie, what can I do? What can I do to make everything easier on you? He's always trying to find a way to make my life easier and better. And he just, there's no other better, better way to put it. He takes care of us in every way possible. And I know that's his way of showing us how much he loves me and the girls. Here I am saying I wasn't going to get too long winded, but there's not time for the last question and the most liked question. And it was, what changes would you make to your home? Like now that we've lived there for six months, what changes would you make if you could go back? So there are some things I want to say, but there's not time. So stay tuned for next week. We are going to answer this. Right, Mike? We got it. He's coming back. I'll be so back. Stay tuned. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next week. You're amazing. I love you. Bye. Bye, guys.